Hey team, Damien Kelly, exercise scientist here for a home EMOM workout. This one is a strength workout, so and you can do it in a space just like this, in your lounge room, in your garage, you can do it outdoors if you want. Uh, it doesn't mean, need much equipment, but it just tend, tend to uh, help have a, um, to do a couple of movements if you do have some weight. Um, so if you've got a, a kettlebell or a dumbbell, great. Um, otherwise, I'll show you some other examples when we get to it. Um, how, you may not have heard of an EMOM workout before. What the EMOM stands for is every minute on the minute. Every minute on the minute. So what it means is, is that I, I like these sort of home workouts, especially when you're by yourself and sometimes you know you, you lose focus. Every, the, every minute on the minute workouts keep you very focused because there's a there's a target every minute for these workouts. So you can't kind of drift off and you know watch the TV or whatever. You've got a, you've got a target every minute, so you can't you, you're with it the whole time. You're staying nice and time effective, uh, and the workout is uh, gets done before you know it, which is great. All right, so let's go through this one. As I said, it's a strength workout. There are six exercises we are focusing on today, and there's a four and two work rest ratio. So for four minutes, you're gonna be working on one exercise, a two minute breather. We then move the next, next exercise, focus on it for four minutes, etc., etc. So within, within that four minute work period, what you're gonna do is do four sets uh, of the same exercise. So a minute one, I do a set, I rest, Minute two, I do another set, I rest for four minutes in a row, and then I have that two minute break, all right? To also to help you with that focus, I've given you an, an advanced, an intermediate, and a beginner target for each of those exercises. So if you're pretty familiar with that exercise, you've done it before, and you want to really challenge yourself with the amount of reps you do, which obviously is, is important to get as many reps out as you can, then use those targets. If the exercise is new to you and you just don't want to get overawed by that, just work for about 40 seconds, have a rest shaken off and do that for four minutes in a row. So 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest and do that four times through. All right? What I suggest you do is just, um, you can either download a Tabata app um, for this and just you can put four and two, have that somewhere where you can see it, you can watch that each time and it might beat you every minute to remind you when to start. Otherwise just start your stopwatch and have, once again have that somewhere where you can see it um, and that will be, uh, will, yeah, keep you uh, on target for this workout. All right, let's go through the six exercises now. Now the first one is a lunge. So think of a lunge as that exercise where I'm in a split stance like so, my knee goes down, that's a lunge, right? The alternating lunge has two options. So what it is, it's either a left lunge, step lunge, a right step lunge, so I'm alternating feet, all right? So if, if I'm new to lunges, let's just try that. Step left, step right, and see maybe if I can get either 20 or 30 reps out. If you wanna ramp things up a bit, make it even harder, you can do a jumping lunge. So I can now get a bit more speed to it, Notice my torso stays upright, my back knee goes nice and deep. It's not just this, I've got to get that back knee down to the ground, and if I want to hit some of those higher numbers, I'll need to do that jumping version. All right, so just to reiterate the EMOM workout, start my watch, I'm going to chase down 30 or 40 reps. Great, I'm going to hit the rest, hit those reps, shake it off, wait for the next minute to come around. I go again for another 30 or 40 reps or 20 reps, and I do that for four consecutive minutes. All right, next one is the push-up, all right? So, one thing I've got some target reps there for you. Options are a toe push-up, chest to ground, press, chest to ground, press. I can do a knee push-up, once again, chest to ground, press, like so. Not thighs to ground, not nose to ground, but chest to ground. Or a sort of intermediate option is having a raised bench, could be a couch, could be a chair, and then doing a toe version on that. But just choose a version where you can touch your chest. Remember, you're gonna be doing four sets of that number there, so you need to, you need to get a, a one that you, you're capable of doing uh, high reps on. Okay, station three is the squats. So imagine it's not a bad idea for this one to have a chair behind you just to give you a, a target. So I'm in position, I sit, thumbs past the pockets, sit, thumbs past the pockets. If you're 
pretty comfortable with squats. You may go for some higher numbers. If it's new to you, you can go some the lower numbers. But try to get into a good rhythm to it. Stay nice and tall. Notice how I'm sitting back on the chair, thumbs past the pocket, like so. That's the squats. The bent over row is, have them options here. You can do it freestanding, where I get my torso down close to horizontal. And I'm gonna do uh, X amount of reps. You can see here, the E means each side. So I'll do, I'm gonna do the blue number. I'll do 12 reps and then 12 reps. I've got to do that every minute for four consecutive minutes. Um, otherwise, if I need some help, I can have a bench, for example, stabilize myself, and then do my rows. That, that takes a bit of pressure off my back. If you don't have a weight, a, a weight grab yourself a shopping bag, fill it with a bunch of rice, whatever you can fit, you know, some heavy stuff, maybe oil, you know, an oil can out of, the, out of the kitchen, and then same idea, if you're or not, and just do your rows as well, all right? So, uh, homemade dumbbells. Uh, or you can get a bucket and fill it with water. Just don't spill it around around. Okay, okay. okay. all right. Exercise five is my hip thrusts. So once again, you just need a, a chair or a couch for these. I'm going to sit on the ground in front of it, place the bottom of my shoulder blades against it in this position here, and then thrust my hips to the, to the sky, touch, thrust, touch, thrust, see that full range of motion all the way down, all the way up. And notice also, I'm not laying my head down, I'm keeping my head forwards the whole time and getting that nice squeeze at the top. And then lastly, my sit-ups in position, touch the ankles all the way down, touch the ankles all the way down, keeping those feet down and try not to use your arms to create momentum. All right, team. So once again, EMOM strength workout, you're doing four sets of each exercise, a set in each minute for four consecutive minutes. Take a two minute breather between exercises, have a break, have a drink, reload, and then go again. Just do one round through the whole workout and then you are done. All right guys, hope you enjoy that.